you remember at the time, lots of people said how disrespectful this was. That's right, the now infamous curtsy that Meghan Markle decided to put on film on her docu-series, sat alongside her husband, Prince Harry, looking squeamishly uncomfortable, but not really having any, shall we say, backbone to reprimand, uh, reprimand should I say, his wife of this ill justice to a monarch that had served 70 years on the throne. Absolutely disgusting in many people's mind. But you see, there could have been a bigger reason behind this particular act of treason, as many people said. As ever, let me explain. Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join me. Nice to have your company. Oh, didn't we like Mimi the Parrot? Yes. <laughs> what a thrill it was, you know. As I said, you, you, fans are fans. Yes, I don't mind if they can only say a few words, makes them stay a bit longer. I just want to know which episodes Mimi likes. And more importantly, if you've got a pet, or indeed a cat, a dog, a mouse, whatever. <laughs> well, we've well, we all got a few mice, haven't we? Particularly living in London. Apparently, you're never more than five feet away from a rat. They've not worked in television a long time. I could tell you, you're a lot closer than you think. <laughs> yes, but on a serious note, does your pet watch TV with you? It doesn't have to be me. Do they watch it? What do you think? you know when they're watching do you think they understand what's going on or am i just daft i think they do a little bit you know what i'm saying back as ever to your royal story of the day we'll have a quick wave you all right yes thank you so much as i say for joining me today interest in this because as we've seen you know with Meghan markle and that i think really terrible situation where she decided to go on camera and do that fake curtsy even though she claims of course this was all just innocent fun showing a fun side to herself well clearly that well and truly backfired but according to a very well-placed source, now apparently, according to that source, uh, the late Duke of Edinburgh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip, secretly referred to Meghan Markle for a very short time that he knew her as D.O.W., the Duchess of Windsor. Now, some might say, of course, this is simply because she was an American, a rather troublesome American, some might also point out, for the British monarchy. Now, when you think about it, she wasn't as troublesome as some might suggest the latest American inside attaching themselves to the British monarchy is. I mean, let's be honest, the Duchess of Windsor never publicly spoke out, wasn't particularly negative, and one might suggest when you read her files and letters now that this wasn't the life that she planned or indeed mapped out for. Allegedly, she didn't in fact want the king to abdicate and would have willingly given all that up. Interesting. All right. <laughs> You're putting me off now. <laughs> it's all right. But the bigger picture is this, you see. What I find fascinating about this is, yes, the sure Prince Philip did in fact have a nickname for Meghan Markle. He had nicknames for everybody. But everybody said that this was a secret nickname that Meghan Markle knew nothing about. Well, according to a very well-placed source, that simply wasn't the case. She was very aware of this, as she saw it, personal slight. Why on earth would he decide to give her that moniker? Now, one might surmise, of course, that Meghan decided to plough ahead with this ill-fated Oprah Winfrey interview, which many said was ill-timed, given the fact that at the time of airing, uh, the late Duke was literally on his... Um, without putting it too unkindly, uh, last moments, shall we say, on this planet. There's no two ways about it. He was incredibly gravely ill. And it was suggested that Meghan and Harry should pull the interview as a mark of respect, but they ploughed ahead. Now, it's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously, somewhere down the line, either Meghan did know this, because according to that source, she was fully aware of it, never actually confronted the ailing duke, or indeed the aging duke at that point, and just simply allegedly dismissed it as meaning nothing. But as we know, with Meghan, clearly, there's always something in the memory bank. And one person who would have been able to tell her was perhaps closer than, than in fact, anybody else truly realised. Either way, I don't think it was meant in such a detrimental term. As I say, he was known as a bit of a funster, said what he thought, and why not? And let's be honest, as he pointed out, you know, the fact that one American had upturned the monarchy uh, many years previous, which of course had changed the direction of his and his wife's life, and of course her father, then seemingly, of course, one might be not too welcoming to this happening again. Either way, let me tell you, Meghan was very aware of this alleged secret moniker. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.